watering plants while on vacation. If you are only going to be gone a week or less, you may be able to get away with a good soaking and a layer of mulch. Mulched plants lose 25% less water than unmulched plants. Of course, it all depends on the weather. Some plants may wilt or become stressed, but you probably won't lose any. Drip irrigation may sound like an impossible task, but the process is quite simple. You can purchase inexpensive kits that basically pop together. Unfortunately, this is better done at the start of the growing season. It is more difficult to lay the hoses once plants are large and growing, but it's not impossible. Do a pest check the week before you leave to make sure you treat the problems, and it doesn't balloon while you're away. Don't just spray indiscriminately, but if you do see an animal munching or an infestation of aphids, take action before leaving your garden unattended for a week or more. It doesn't take long for a small problem to become a large problem. Protect large portions of your garden by hanging shade cloth to diffuse the light. Shade cloth is often used in greenhouses in the spring to prevent tender plants from burning. It can also be used to protect gardens in the heat of summer. You can stretch it across a fence or hang it from two poles, where needed. For temporary use during a vacation, you can always use sheer curtains or old screens. A permanent version would be a lathe house. Be prepared to lose a few annuals and unestablished perennials. If it's very hot and dry and if you are going to be gone a week or longer, it's inevitable, but it's not the end of the world. When you get back and start watering and tending your garden regularly, things will perk back up. On the plus side, lack of water and high heat will also slow down the weeds. Let your friends know it's okay to come by and harvest vegetables, so they'll keep producing and won't attract animals. Unfortunately, you can't stop the ripening process. Ripe tomatoes will simply fall off the plant and ferment. If others are enjoying the fruits of your garden, they'll be more likely to help you take care of it. If you have indoor plants that will be fending for themselves while you are away, keep the blinds partially closed. This will keep the room cooler and the plants will lose less moisture. Use capillary motion. Make a wick with a cotton string, shoestring, or yarn. Thoroughly water your plant. Shove one end of the string into the soil, about one inch deep. Firm the soil around the string. Put the other end in a bottle or jar of water, slightly higher than the plant container. The water will wick from the container of water, into the soil. You don't need a drip irrigation system to benefit from using a timer. The timer option works just as well with a regular garden sprinkler. You may need a couple of sprinklers and connector hoses if your garden is spread out. Rain barrels are great ways to catch and store free water. If you have a rain barrel, attach a soaker hose to it and run it through your garden. It will leach out slowly and saturate the ground water well before you leave and the ground will soak up that much more some gardeners have had luck making their own self-watering jugs just take some old plastic beverage jugs and bottles and poke the tiniest pinholes in the lower side of the jug place the jug in the soil next to your plant a couple of inches below the soil surface water the garden well then fill the jug with water just before you leave and it will slowly drip additional water to the roots a lot of gardens have several plants in containers, usually scattered about the yard. These containers require even more water than the plants in the garden beds. To make sure they get some water, move your containers into or near your garden, where they will get water from the sprinklers. Sometimes you can't move your containers or perhaps you have a container that needs a lot of supplemental water. Water bulbs or globes and other self-watering gadgets are a good supplement. Be sure to water the container thoroughly, shortly before you leave, and then fill and insert the bulb. The water will slowly drip into the pot and can usually buy you about a week's time before the plant needs more water. Form a vacation watering co-op with one or more friends. Make arrangements to take care of each other's garden while away on vacation. You'll care for their plants while they're away, and they'll care for yours, while you take off. Try and make it easier on them by keeping the hose handy and ready to go and grouping as many plants together as you can. If 
If you are going to be away two weeks or longer and your garden will be unattended, your best option would be to hire someone to come in once or twice a week to check on your garden. They can either hand water or ensure your timers are working properly. You may even want them to mow. Check with a garden designer or maintenance group. They may not do one-time care, but they will probably be able to refer you to someone who will. Hopefully, you have already chosen plants that can withstand a short period of drought. Drought-tolerant, or xeric plants, can pretty much take care of themselves, once they are established. Of course, we all grow a prima donna or two, but it's much easier to care for a handful of plants than a whole garden. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.